In this video, we are going to look at an example on how to evaluate a double integral. First, let's state Fubini's theorem. This is how Fubini's theorem is given in many calculus textbooks. So let's read it. If f of xy is continuous over the rectangle R, x between A and B, and y between C and D, then the double integral f of xy dA over the region R may be found by either integral f of xy dx dy or f of xy dy dx. Just take note, when you write f of xy dx, then the limits here will be the values of x. Okay, If you write dx first, then this will be the values of x, and this will be the values of y, c and d. Now, if you write dy first, then we have the limits of y appearing for c and d. Okay, So, Fubini's theorem, please take note, uh, this is defined for a rectangular region, but just remember that Fubini's theorem holds for non-rectangular regions as well. Now, just remember that when you deal with double integrals like this, the idea is do the inside first and then move outwards. Okay? Do the inside first. What do we mean by that? We do the inside first and then we move outwards. Let's look at an example. Yeah? Let T be a triangular region enclosed by the lines y equals to 0, y equals to 2x, and x equals to 1. We are asked to evaluate the double integral x plus y dA over the region T. Now, the first step in a problem like this is to have a sketch. That's easy. First draw in y equals to 2x, that's what you see here, a straight line going through the origin. And then we have y equals to 0, which is the x-axis. And we have x equals to 1, which is a line which is parallel to the y-axis. That's what I've indicated here. Okay, this is the line x equals to 1. Good. And then we are talking about the triangular region enclosed by these lines, so I've shaded it for you. Okay, this is not to scale. Uh, a sketch is extremely important when we evaluate double integrals. Now, what's the next step? Let's say we want to start with dy first. Okay, so let's say we want to write fxy dy first. Okay, so if you want to write dy first, draw a vertical line through the region that you have just indicated. Again, if you want to do dy first, draw a vertical line. It can be a broken line like, like I have done here. Okay, draw a line, a vertical line through this region. So again, if it's dy, draw a vertical line through this region that you have indicated. Now, that's what I have mentioned here. In step number two, draw a vertical line. I have used a broken line so as to not to uh, clutter up the picture. Now, once you have drawn in this vertical line, look for the smallest value of y. So this is y lower and this is y upper okay so this is y lower and y upper the lower value of y will be 0 and the upper value of y will be 2x so you can plug in your y limits okay not difficult you can plug in your y limits and that's what you see here y goes from 0 to 2x this vertical line that you have drawn okay you could have drawn it anywhere here so the smallest value of x would be 0 and the largest value of x will be 1. Again, this vertical line that you have drawn, you would have drawn it anywhere in this region. So the smallest value would have been, or rather will be, x equals to 0 and the largest value for x will be 1. So that's what you see here, the limits of x going from 0 to 1. So let me draw a few lines. Okay, let's say we draw a vertical line here or here. So the smallest value of x will be 0 and the largest value of x will be 1. That's what I mean by you can sweep this vertical line from x equals to 0 to 
x equals to 1. That's how we determine the limits for x. Okay? Now, once you're done with that, we are home. Yeah? So, now we can carry out the integration. Just remember that when you integrate with respect to y, you have to hold x constant. Again, when you integrate with respect to y, you have to hold x constant. So, when you do your first integration, we have xy plus y squared over 2. And of course, we have dx. Don't forget, we have limits. Uh, upper limit 2x and lower limit 0. Now, when you plug in your limits, okay, when you plug in your limits, you will get 2x squared plus 4x squared over 2. Again, when you plug in your limits and clean up, you will get 2x squared plus 4x squared over 2. And now, you have to integrate. Again, now you have to integrate with respect to x. This is easy, yeah, because this is single variable integration. Okay, we have got 2x squared plus 2x squared is 4x squared. Again, 2x squared plus 2x squared is 4x squared. That's what you see here. When you integrate this, uh, you can get uh, 4 over 3x cubed. Plug in the value of 1 and 0, you will get 4 over 3, and we are done. Okay, so I would think that you should use this uh, vertical line method uh, if you're going to start with dy and then look at the smallest value of x and the largest value of x. You can set up your limits for x and you are done. Now let's say you want to integrate with respect to x first. That means your integral is going to be fxy dx dy. So to do this, first draw a horizontal line that will cut through your triangular region. Again, if you want to write fxy dx dy, that means you want to integrate with respect to x first, draw a horizontal line and see where it cuts the triangular region. Now, this will be the lower limit of x, so y equals to 2x, so x will be equals to y over 2. So the lower limit of x will be y over 2, and the largest value of x, the upper limit will be x equals to 1. That's what you see here. Okay, so you can easily determine the x limits. Remember this horizontal line could have been drawn anywhere. So let me draw a few, okay? Okay, now the lowest value of y will be here, which is y goes to 0, and the largest value of y will be at this point here, we know the coordinates will be 1, 2, so the largest value of y will be 2. So again, for the values of x that you have indicated from y over 2 to 1, we can now define the y values. The smallest value of y will be y equals to 0, and the largest value of y will be y equals to 2. So now we can set up the integral, and we can evaluate the integral. Okay, that'll be easy. So here we have it, fxy dx dy, the x limits going from y over 2 to 1, and the y values going from 0 to 2. Now, remember, this is fx plus, excuse me, this is x plus y dx, so we are integrating with respect to x, therefore your y will be a constant. Okay, so keeping your y as constant, carry out the integration, you will get x squared over 2 plus yx. Limits going from y over 2 to 1. Now clean this up first. When you do that, do it carefully because there is an upper limit of 1 and there is a lower limit of y over 2. When you clean it up, you will get this line. Okay, now once you come to that line, just carry out your integration as per normal. Okay, this is a single variable integration. Do it carefully, plug in the values of 2 and 0, and you'll get 4 over 3. The same answer as we had earlier. So just to remind ourselves, Fubini's theorem also holds for non-rectangular regions. So you will find it written like this in some textbooks. Okay? fxy dy, so we have functions of x as our limits, and if you write fxy dx, you will have functions of y as our first limits.